Lokma Turkish, Lokma Arabic, Lukupt plural Elkimat, Lukimat, Lukumades Greek, Lukumades singular Lukumas, Lukumas, or Bamiya Persian, Bamai are pastries made of leavened and deep fried dough, soaked in syrup or honey, sometimes coated with cinnamon or other ingredients. The dish was described as early as the 13th century by al-Baghdadi as Lukmat al-Qadi, Lukupt al Judges morsels. Etymology Lakma means mouthful or morsel from Arabic lakupt lukma, plural lukmat. Regional varieties Arab countries The recipe for lukmat al qadi, yeast leavened dough boiled in oil and doused in honey or sugar syrup with rosewater, dates back to at least the early medieval period and the 13th century Abbasid Caliphate, where it is mentioned in several of the existent cookery books of the time. It is also mentioned in the One Thousand and One Nights, in the story The Porter and the Three Ladies of Baghdad. Today in the Gulf countries, lukamat, sometimes spiced with cardamom or saffron, are little changed. In the Levant, they are called awame, wamt or zalabia. Zalabit. Topic: <inaudible> India and Pakistan. The explorer and scholar Ibn Battuta in the 14th century encountered the dish he knew as lukamat al qadi at a dinner in Multan, then part of India, where his hosts called it al Hashimi. Turkey Bortsog, called pc or tuzlu lakma, sour lakma in Turkish, which is lakma without any sweet syrup or honey, is a staple food for Turkic and Mongolian cuisines. Lakma in the form of a dessert is made with flour, sugar, yeast and salt, fried in oil and later bathed in syrup or honey. Lakma is first described as part of Turkish cuisine in the 9th century Kara Khanid Khanate. It was cooked by palace cooks in the Ottoman Empire for centuries and spread to the cuisines of the former countries of the Ottoman Empire in the Balkans, Middle East and the Caucasus. While in the former Ottoman countries such as Iraq and Greece it is an ordinary dessert, it has a ceremonial meaning in Turkey and is generally not consumed as an everyday dessert. Traditionally 40 days after someone passes away, close relatives and or friends of the deceased cook lakma in large quantities and serve to neighbors and passers-by. People form queues to get a plate and recite a prayer for the soul of the deceased in return after eating the lakma. Topic: <inaudible> Greece and Cyprus. Lakma in Greece and Cyprus, called lukumades, are commonly spiced with cinnamon in a honey syrup and can be sprinkled lightly with powdered sugar. The exact recipe for lakma has evolved over many centuries, however, it is a traditional Greek dessert with roots in deep antiquity. A number of ancient honey cakes are described above, which most likely constitute the origin of lakma, whose present name is borrowed from Turkish. The ancient recipes were inherited via the Byzantine Empire and passed on to the occupied countries of the Ottoman Empire, corresponding to where lakma are found today. The candidate most frequently mentioned as being prepared with hot oil is ankrides, which is described above along with other postulated ancestral honey cakes. Lokum is called sphingi sphingoi by the Greek Jews, who make them as Hanukkah treats. The tradition is claimed to have been originated by the Romaniotes. <laughs> Similar dishes Various other kinds of fried dough with syrup are found in the Mediterranean, the Middle East, and South Asia, from the Italian strufoli the most similar in preparation to lakma and zeppoli to the Indian jalebi and gulab jamun. Perhaps the oldest documentation of a related but not identical dish is in the tomb of Ramses IV, where something more like jalebi is shown being prepared. Later, the ancient Greek inchitoi consisted of a cheese and flour dough squeezed into hot fat, then covered with honey. Ankrides 
A dish very similar to lakma is described by Archistratus, a Greek poet from Sicily, was enchris Greek, enchris plural enchrides, a dough ball fried in olive oil, which he details in his Gastronomy, a work now lost, but partially preserved in the Dipnosophists of Athenaeus, which mentions enchris thirteen times, in various inflected forms. The most complete description of it in the Dipnosophists is a passage that reads Hemation hepsomenon analioi chi meta tuto melitamenon nemanue otten stesikoros dia tauten chondrinte chi enkritas alate pemeta chi maligloren. There are cakes, also, called enkrides. These are cakes boiled in oil, and after that seasoned with honey, and they are mentioned by Stesichorus in the following lines Groats and enkrides, and other cakes, and fresh sweet honey. It is also mentioned in preserved fragments of Aristophanes's Danades and Pherocrates's Krapataloi, Stesichorus, and Antiphon. This word is also used in the Greek Septuagint to describe the manna eaten by the Israelites in the Book of Exodus. Chi epinomason hoi hyoi oi Israel to enoma auto man en de hos sperma koriu lucan to de geuma auto hos enkris en maliti, and the house of Israel called the name thereof manna, and it was like coriander seed, white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. And also in the Book of Numbers, Kai diporueto ho laus kai sinelagon kai elethin auto en toi myloi kai atribin en te thai kai hepsun auto en te chitri kai epwaun auto enkrifias kai en he hadon auto hose geuma enkris exli. And the people went about, and gathered it, and ground it in mills, or beat it in a mortar, and baked it in pans, and made cakes of it, and the taste of it was as the taste of fresh oil. Also, there may be a connection to the ritual feeding of the victors at ancient Olympia. Aristotle and other ancient writers refer to karizioi plakoi or plakanta, sharisioi plakoi plakunta translated as thanksgiving cakes or gift cakes. These were offered to the victorious athletes in a highly ritualized ceremony along with the kotinos wreath. No recipe survives. A fragment from Callimachus has been used to argue the supposed antiquity of locum and a connection to the ancient Olympics by, among others, the Washington Post. Various assertions have also been made regarding OMPNE ancient Greek, ompni in the text means, in the plural form, "...sacrificial cakes made of grain and honey". Other sacrificial cakes, often called popanon ancient Greek, popanon being ancestral to leukumades, however, the only thing that is clear about them is that they were made from grain and honey. See also Bortsog Tuzlu Lakma in Turkish Churro Donut Funnel cake Gulab jamun Jalebi Puff puff Tulumba <laughs>